Hello friends and followers. Today we're going to make my homemade cream of mushroom soup. This is a dairy-free recipe um, and here is the end product. I just want to give you a nice shot of this creamy cream of mushroom soup. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wash and trim all of our mushrooms, cut off the ends of the stems. As you see, I am digging out that white part around the stems on the bigger ones. It's kind of a mushy texture, but you're just going to cut them all down to a nice bite-sized piece is just like diced up if you have a dicer you can obviously put that in that there as well then we're going to take a half of a medium onion dice this up as well and get this all prepared for a pan so in the pan i added ghee which is actually dairy free add our onions and our mushrooms we're going to give everything a good coating and add some salt because we want to bring the moisture out so the salt helps with that i added more ghee because it was looking a little dry i took my dried herbs and ran them between my hands to get those nice oils out salted it or salt and peppered it a little bit more and then I just stirred everything till it gets nice and coated and I just keep simmering it on about a medium heat and as you can see there's a lot of moisture that's coming out of the vegetables that's what you want you want to sweat these down um here in a second you'll see where it gets real soupy with all the excess water I added garlic and then I added my cream or I'm sorry my coconut milk so you want to bring it then to a simmer as it is right here you're going to give it a good stir and then we're going to turn Turn this down on low and we're going to cover it completely with the lid and come back in like 10 minute increments to stir it. This is the first 10 minutes as you see it's a little creamy and here is the second one. It gets a little bit creamier. I wanted to give you guys this time lapse so you could kind of see how it cooks down. This is the 30 minute mark and then the next one is the 40 minute mark. You can see it becomes really thick, nice and creamy. What I did was to just give it a really good stir and as you see the last 20 minutes that I cooked it I only put the pan lid half on so the extra moisture can evaporate then I let it sit because that also thickens and as you see it becomes a very nice creamy cream of mushroom soup um, I am putting this in another pan because I'm going to use this for our recipe, but I also wanted to show you guys the texture as I'm pouring it out. This is great for that green bean casserole everybody makes on Thanksgiving. Um, if you guys like this and try it, please let me know and do not forget to like and subscribe.